Hello everybody, hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa if you are new here and I am a second semester nursing student as of the 11th which was this Monday. Um, this week was my first week of second semester and I was going to do a week in the life and then I was like, ah, uh, because I started doing it and then I was really bad at filming. So now we are doing a what's in my clinical bag. So originally my plan was to put everything in my work bag, which is right there, um, because basically I used kind of the same stuff. Um, obviously like I bring my stethoscope and stuff to work, but um, unfortunately it's not all going to fit. Um, I have to bring a bunch of books and stuff like that with me to clinical, so here we are, two backpacks, it's fine. Um, also I didn't need to like bring my respirator that I bring to work to um, clinical, so it just doesn't, it didn't work out. Anyways, before we get started, I have a huge announcement, which is really, really exciting. I feel like that's all I've been doing is like announcements, but um, I have a giant announcement and I'll go, I'll go get it. Come here, baby. He's going to get down camera. This is my surprise. Oh, you're not going to like that. That tastes like makeup. This is Callie. She is a lab and a Swedish Shepherd mix. She's trying to look at herself in the mirror, but she is our puppy. We got her, I think around two weeks ago and we are obsessed with her. She is wild and rambunctious. Look, look, look at the camera. Oh, is that, is that you? Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, my camera's gonna die, give me one second. So like I was saying, this is Callie. She is our 10 week old puppy and life with a puppy has been interesting. Um, we have lots of little pads everywhere because she, Currently is not doing fantastic at the potty training, but it's okay. She uses the pads really well. She just doesn't go outside very well, but it's okay. But she's doing really great. We have um, a plethora of toys. Um, she's actually really sleepy right now, so I'm going to put her back down so she can take a nap because she was napping and then I woke her up. So, yeah, she is a really, really su big sweetheart. She loves to cuddle, loves to give licks. Um, she also is a biter, so gotta watch out for that, but, um, she's doing really good, and we love her two pieces. You want to go nap? And we'll push you back down so you can nap. So, yeah, obviously you will see her around. Um, she kind of just wanders. Um, she does really good. We've had her for about two weeks, so she's pretty good at, like, wandering around while, like, I'm showering or stuff like that so she's pretty good about that but she will be wandering I'm sure she'll pop up like around here you can see her kind of walking um but yeah that was my little update we have a puppy now and it's going pretty well anyways back to the video um I ended up getting this backpack from Amazon I haven't even opened it yet I got it today so it is supposed to be the same exact backpack that um, I have for work and it looks like it's slightly different which is fine um, but it I will link it down below for you guys it's just this black backpack um, it has a spot for like oh wait, this one's deep um, a spot for something right there um, there's one on the sides it looks like that goes oh all the way down um, Let's see what else. There's another one right here that has goes all the way down to. I don't know what this is for. Um, something right there. This one, a couple of pockets, um, and then a giant one with like a sleeve right here, and then something like to put your pens and stuff right there. So that's really cool. Oh, and it also has. Mine does not have this, and it kind of bums me out a little bit. Um, a place to put your laptop right in there, all the way in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has like a little strap right here, so that's super, super nice. I really appreciate that. Um, 
But yeah, so we're gonna fill this thing together because I need it for school sometime, I think like this week or next week. Um, I have clinical on Wednesday, so I need it by Wednesday, but I like to be early for things. Also, I was really excited. So we are going to fill this thing. I'm sure it's going to be stuffed full. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys everything that I'm going to put in it and then we'll start throwing stuff in there. So I also got this cute little stethoscope case. Um, if you guys have watched my videos previously in my nursing school haul, I showed you guys a different one. Um, and it is slightly smaller than this one. Um, it is actually right here. Um, it's just kind of smaller, but this one has this little wrist strap, which is kind of cool. Um, but this one has a stuff, like little divider right here. If I can move it. Hello. Um, so that you can put your stethoscope right there and you don't have to worry about like your pen lights and stuff like getting or hitting it. And that's my issue right now. It's like my pen lights and my hemostats. They, um, hit my stethoscope and it's kind of making me a little bit nervous. So I bought another one. I'm sure I will keep this one. Yes, honey. What's wrong? What? 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 Hmm? You want to go get some more toys? Why some more toys? Sorry, my dog needed me. Anyway, so basically we're just going to take everything that's in here and put it in the other one. Um, this is my Lipman Classic 3. Um, I showed this in my nursing school hall as well. I've probably... 80% of this is probably in my nursing school hall, but um, this is just my Littman Classic 3. Um, this is the all black one. I love it. It is so great. Um, I don't really use it in the hospital that much right now, um, obviously because I am a PCT. Um, I'm not sure how every hospital works, but like at mine, I have like a, a Vitals machine um, that is called like a Dynamap. Um, that I take with me into patient's room and it has like an automatic blood pressure and then usually if their blood pressure is like insanely high my nurse likes to take it so I don't really have a need for it right now um, but maybe eventually in the future I will um, I'm trying to get it to like fit in here nicely it's not really going too well okay oh, I don't want to do that that's gonna kink that um, now that we have it settled, this is kind of what it looks like. It has like a little strap going across it to hold it in place. And then just put the little flap down there. Um, I also in here have two pen lights that were also featured in my nursing school haul. Just pen lights. So I will probably put them in here. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, then I have some hemostats. I actually have a bunch of them. Let me find my other ones. So I have a couple of them. I figured might as well just bring them all. I have three actually, like two average size ones and a little baby one. So we'll put these in here too, because why not? Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have my trauma shears. I also have two pairs of these. I might as well bring them both because I'm filling this thing to the max. So I also have these ones. Um, I got these from my planner that I purchased that was also in my nursing school hall. Maybe just go and watch that one um, if you haven't seen it already. Um, what other things do I have in here? I have a glasses cleaner. I don't know why I have this in here. I suppose we can just keep it though because I'm sure I had it in here for a reason. Um, at least I would hope. We'll put that with my hemostats. Okay, so basically these are kind of upside down because I'm not really sure why this is like this. If you guys know, like let me know because like I feel like things would fall from here and also like my pens are like too long. Like these are the clips of the pen to like hold or like to put on things. So like I'm not sure why they're like that. Um, anyways, whatever I suppose. I have my pen lights in here. My hemostats are now like clipped onto here. And my trauma shears. I probably just won't bring my Paul socks because 
No, I'm gonna bring it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it. Or I'll just shove it in here. I'm a hot mess right now, but here's my little pulse axe. I'm not gonna put it in there. We'll find another space for it. Um, but anyways, stethoscope, pen lights, hemostats, there's my like cloth thing up there, and trauma shears. So, yeah, like I said, I'll link the new things down below for you guys, and then I will link the video. So, um, I have like a giant Amazon shopping list um, because 90% of the stuff was bought on Amazon. So, um, I will link down, I will link my nursing school haul video down below, and that has the list in it. So, it has it in the description box, I believe. So, I will link everything new and then the video so that you guys can shop on that thing. Um, but yeah, so here is this. This is what I'm going to be using. This one's going to find another home. I also have a clipboard. This one is from White Coat Clipboards. Um, it is mint green and it has these cute little cheat sheets on here on the back. Um, it is a collapsible one and I just have some of the normal values for, um, vitals on here just because... My work is like, I think every place is different. Like what you need to like tell your nurses, like obviously we, I have older patients at my hospital. So if their heart rate is like 58, it's not like insane. Like I don't need to go and like run and tell my nurse. Like obviously I'll let them know if it's, you know, like insanely low, but for ours, it's just a little bit different. Um, so I wrote them down on here. Um, this is just on like a sticky note, so, um, but I like this one because especially when I have like my report sheet and stuff like that, I just put it in here and I collapse it and I can leave it wherever, um, well, on my, my wow, so I leave it there just because I don't like taking into patients' rooms all the time. That's a lot of information to have, um, in a patient room because usually I have like a whole list of like my patients and like everything that they that's going on with them so I don't really want to leave that in patients rooms and also because of COVID it's kind of just like not sanitary so I just leave it outside on my wow I also have this other one this is also oh wait no this is from Triboran it has this nice little thing this one does not collapse or anything but it does open up like that and I'll show you guys what's in the inside so I have this little notebook um this one just says crazy ideas on it I believe I got this from office depot um this is kind of going to be like my little I don't know how to describe it like if I can't fit anything down or if I just like forget something or if I'm in a patient's room and they want to order something or I need to do something for them and I don't want to write it I'm gonna my clinical paperwork um I'm going to put it on here also this thing is fantastic because it comes with a bunch of cheat sheets um it comes with a NICU cheat sheet oh I don't know what that is um pediatrics cheat sheet um this is <coughs> this is just like a, a reference sheet um I believe these for our these are for adults um there's some spanish translations on here newborn assessment ob and l and d pharmacy stuff and respiratory stuff so that is all going to stay in there i love having reference sheets they are my favorite thing because your girl is a forgetter so i'm also going to bring this one it's also nice because i can put my clinical paperwork in there and not have to worry about it bending. I'm gonna go check and see what my dog just did, so hang on. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna bring both clipboards, um, see which one I use the most, go from there, probably just keep both just in case. Um, and then I have a binder. This is just a one inch binder. Um, I put some dividers in here as well. Um, here's just some information about clinical. Um, but I have like all of my paperwork in here, my drug cards, some other random stuff. Um, these are just some like helpful sheets that they gave us. So this is going to go with me each week we get, 
I believe a patient um, they haven't really told us yet but I believe it is a patient and then we fill out basically everything for them so yeah that's pretty exciting and cool I'm actually really excited I am on a med surge slash oncology floor which is awesome I'm so excited um yeah that's really really cool I'm super 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 pumped about it so um, that is all my clinical paperwork. Um, I'm just gonna like pull one because I have like the entire semester worth of paperwork in the binder. So like each week I'll pull out one and if I need an extra or whatever, um, I'll have them. I just don't like to be without. So I also have my big calculator kind of set aside. Um, this is my TI-84. Um, I probably won't need this, but I genuinely like this one more than like the tiny one that I have so I'll show you guys that one in a second it's just nice for me to see because I can like see previous things so like if I'm doing a weight mat or anything like that it's just nice for me to see like how I got there Callie anyways um I also have some books here so this is the one that I bought this is the Jarvis physical assessment and health assessment eighth edition pocket hand guide sorry i'm distracted um but yeah so this is actually super super helpful basically if you have the wilson and giddens book um what is it called it's like health assessment um if you have the wilson and giddens book this is everything in the health assessment part of it um it goes from mental status to vital signs hair skin nails eyes ears nose throat breasts thorax um abdomen musculoskeletal um the whole the whole thing it's all in here and it's super super nice to have like a reference in case like you get some abnormal findings or you just don't remember how to do a certain thing so so great to have can you guys hear her running around Oh my lanta um but yeah so this is such a great reference i'm absolutely obsessed with it i will link this down below as well it was on amazon um i believe that you can also get it from barnes and noble but it was like 30 dollars more at barnes and noble and that was a no from me so um i also have to bring i'm sorry if you guys can hear her she's just like going crazy right now i'll show you guys hang on Okay, so um, I also have to bring my drug book. Um, we don't technically have to because Epic has like a, a drug guide built into it, but they said maybe just bring this if you're like familiar with your drug book um, and you can start like getting used to using the, um, the Epic one. So I'm just gonna bring it just in case. I really like my drug book. This is the Mos yeah, Mosby's 2021 one. Um, and I have some like drugs already tabbed from last semester. So yeah, I figured I would just bring it. And if I don't use it, I don't use it. It's not going to kill me to bring it. Um, I also have to bring my NAND book, which is thick. Um, this is my nursing diagnostic handbook and it basically goes through, um, like a bunch of different nursing diagnoses and oh, like different ways that you can like word it and how to like what interventions you should take and stuff like that so it's a really really good thing to have and to bring with you i'm so sorry about the squeaking um Um, anyways, it's a really good thing to have and to bring, so we have to bring that with us, and I'm pretty, pretty stoked about having the book. It came with our bundle, so I know that some people, like, want to get it, but they have to buy it, so it just came in our bundle with our books this semester. Okay, so moving on, I have all of, like, my small stuff kind of put away in this little baggie over here, um, so we'll go through it all. 
I have these blue light glasses. I'm pretty sure I showed them to you guys in my nursing school haul. Looking for my dog, sorry. Um, they just look like this. Sorry, you guys can like see the glare, but they just look like this. They're really cute. I like them a lot. Um, yeah, I keep these with me because charting is a, a pain. So I keep these with me. Um, they're just in like this little Nine West thing. I think I believe I bought them off Amazon. They should be in the list on my nursing school um, supply haul. Then I have a little, little notebook. Um, I got these from Target, I believe, but they're still on that nursing school list. Um, I have this one just in case I don't want to bring around that other book. I have a little one. Um, I have some oil blotting sheets because your girl is an oily mess 80% of the time. So I have some oil sheets. Usually I don't wear makeup to work, but I, I figured since you want to look professional at clinical I might so we'll see how it goes I might be a little lazy and not do it but we'll see um probably for the first couple weeks I'll put on like mascara and stuff but we'll see how it goes um obviously we all have to wear masks and we'll see I also have some sticky notes just in case I need to make a note to myself um, I have this Fenty Beauty. This is the Universal Translucent Invisimat Blotting Powder. This stuff is fantastic if you are an oily girl. Highly recommend. Um, I have some um, bobby pins. These are unopened. I probably should open them before so I don't struggle with it. Um, but I always, I like coming in, well for clinical I think we have to have our hair up anyways. Um, I don't know if my hair is like short enough to not. Um, put my hair up. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to have to, but, um, I like to go into work thinking that I'm going to be all cute and stuff and, you know, like wear my hair down and yeah, that never works out. Um, I always end up putting my hair on top of my head in a bun. So I figured clinical would be the same way. So I bought this little travel case. Um, this is from these, it's from the C. S-C-U-N-C-I brand at Target. It's like in their hair stuff. There's like a little bin at mine that they carry like travel stuff. So that's where I bought that at. I have a mini stapler for any paperwork that I might need to staple. I have a stapler remover also just in case. Um, I have some Excedrin. Um, obviously clinical stressful. I get headaches all the time so I also have some um, opti free because I wear contacts so if I ever need to take out my contacts because they're bothering me um, I have that and I also have a case I have a mini calculator this one is fine it's just the other one that I carry to work um, that I'm not really like a giant fan of so um, I have that I have some hand sanitizer obviously I have some hand lotion because the hand sanitizer at the hospital and the soap at the hospital is drying. So I have those. I have some Midol because, you know, girl problems. I have these cool little Listerine ready to go tabs. Um, basically, you like chew them, you swish them, and then you swallow. So if you ever got coffee breath, Good thing to have i have some gum i should probably open this too i like grabbed all this stuff like fresh out of my desk and it, i just haven't done anything with it yet so it's all new and opened or unopened gum i have my favorite mints as well these are the breath savers um spearmint ones fantastic um i love them i also love them as like a candy I have a little makeup remover. I'm probably going to put like one or two more in here um, because just in case I wear makeup and then I don't feel like wearing makeup anymore. Um, I have my contacts just in case. Um, girl things, you know. Um, I also have some lip repair. This is the Aquaphor one. I'm probably going to put a lip glowy balm in here too because that's my go-to. I have a little hair tie. Um... I have a bunch of binder clips um, just in case. 
I need to binder clip something in a nail file because your girl breaks her nails like nobody's business. So let's get to putting these things in places because I'm excited. Oh, I also need pens. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Okay, so I have a, vari a variety of pens. I have these cheap little pens. These are the big round stick ones, a paper make pencil. This is a freaking lifesaver if I can recommend one thing, it's this. Um, this is from Yobi. It is a multi-pen colored pen. I don't know what you call that. Um, um, I love this. I write my patients out in like different, I write different things about my patients in different colors so that it's like, okay, pink is this and this is this. Like if they're a bed rest turn or if they're independent, I put it in pink. And if they're like times four, times one, A and O times four and one, um, it's in green. Or if they're a telly, it's in blue, like something like that. So that if I look and I'm like, oh yeah, duh, my patient's this. So it's not just like a jumbled mess. I have some highlighters. I have the Sharpie S gel pen and then some paper mate. These are the profile ball ones. Profile, yeah, ball ones. Um, I'm gonna have to find a home for those. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that maybe this would be slightly easier in my work bag because my work bag has like, let me show you guys my work bag really quick. So this is my work bag. It is not that different, but it is in a way. Um, it has this big zipper right here. Don't mind my respirator. It has like a sleeve back here for your, um, what is it called? Your laptop. In here, this has like, oh, you can't even see. Like this pocket right here that I put a lot of my like other stuff in. Um, get it. And then like down here, this is where I keep my um, electronic stuff. But I really like this right here. I keep all of my pens and stuff in here so I think we're gonna switch it up honestly because I I prefer this one and it has like stuff right there but I don't know that it has enough room for all of my books All right, let me, let me figure this out and I'll show you guys what I end up doing. Okay, so actually I've decided that this is going to be a better thing for me. So in here, I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see. I have my clipboard back here. I have my little notebook and my physical assessment book. Decided to take out that like pink, by, or pink clipboard because... Although I do like it, it's kind of taking up a lot of space in here. And I already have a clipboard and I have a binder, so it didn't make sense. Um, I have my Nanda book behind here. I don't know if you guys can really see it. My binder, my drug book is like all the way down there. And then that gray stethoscope case that I just showed you guys in here as well. Um, I'm still filling this, so I haven't really put anything in this like middle space right here. It has like a zipper. Um, I did find a tied to go um, thing though, so I'm gonna keep that in there. Um, I also have in here, this is my little pouch of chargers. I have a charger for my laptop, some plug-in headphones, um, my AirPods, another charger for my phone, a uh, flash drive, and like two like plug ball-in cubes. Um, just in case, I'm kinda psychotic about charging my stuff. My blue like um, glasses are also in there and then at this like, this is about to be really difficult. Um, in here I put, hello honey, I put my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, I finally found one. I put my hand sanitizer in this one, this little pocket over here. And then I'm going to put my gum. Ooh, you okay? These Listerine strips, or tabs, I guess you can call them. This is very difficult, you guys couldn't tell. 
and my breath mints all in the next one right here excuse you ma'am no thank you excuse you i also put all of my pens up here if you guys didn't see that i don't remember what i showed you um and then i'm gonna transfer a bunch of this stuff into a baggie and i will show you guys in a second so basically i have this like beer bradley bag um that has all my work stuff in it so i'm gonna put all of this in this other bag and put all the other stuff in here so in here i'm gonna put my scrunchy stuff an extra hair tie my contact stuff excedrin my makeup wipes the Invisimat blending powder my stapler mover mini stapler mini calculator my doll binder clips feminine things my pulse socks and my lotion so we're gonna put all of this in a bag and then we're gonna put the bag in that back one on top of the books and then in like this little spot right here i'm gonna put my um note cards my oil blotting sheets and my little notepad then i have oh, my school id on here i just wanted to show you guys um i do have like the sharpie and the highlighter right here and then i have these tri bar end cards this one is the pain assessment tool this one is um different blood types um vital signs normal ranges um basic assessment on here some more vital signs stuff this one is from scrubs and stuff um same thing on the back um the order of draw um more order of draw stuff how to do an ekg more ekg stuff labs labs um abgs Oh, ventilator alarms and then dosage calc so yeah so that's what i have on my little badge so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed and you guys got some ideas of what to put in your clinical bag um leave me comments down below if there's anything that i'm missing or any recommendations of things that you think i should put in my bag um because i will definitely do that i love putting things in my bag as you guys can see um but yeah i will see you guys next time next week is going to be a video on um my first clinical so that'll be super exciting and i will see you guys next week bye